Okay, in this part of the video, we're going to look at parts one and two of activity 112, your first class here in Blue Jay. So, the first thing we're going to want to do is select project and select new project. And we're going to call this media lib. Capitalize the M, capitalize the L, and lib. And click create. So, we got our new project here. First thing we're going to do is create a new class that's told to us there in step two. And this is called Media Lib as well. You're going to click OK. And you're going to open this editor. It's going to give you a lot of uh, auto generated code here. And we can erase all of this that's in yellow, basically between the two brackets there. Okay. And we're going to create a public class, media lib. Inside that, we're going to create public static void main. It accepts no arguments. And then inside of that, we need two curly braces. All right. And inside of this, we're going to print a statement that says, Welcome to your media library. Very similar to what we did in Hello World. So we're going to start with system.out.println, open parentheses, welcome to your media library, close quote, close parentheses, and end that with a semicolon. Now if you want to make sure everything's formatted correctly, you can hit Command, Shift, and I. It'll line everything up, click compile, and you can see there's no errors there. So if we close this out, we come back to media library. If we right click on it and select void main, basically to run our class here, we'll get our terminal that displays our message, welcome to your media library. So that takes you through the first three steps there. Uh, I would recommend if those links are working in steps four and five to look through those lessons. Uh, the other day that site seemed to be blocked. I'm hoping it's unblocked now, but if not, uh, we'll kind of just go on through those uh, and look ahead to the next steps. So if we move on to step six. It's going to ask us to create a new class. Okay, click on that here. And this class is going to be called Song. Double click on song to open up the editor there. And we can get rid of some of this auto generated code. I'm actually only going to get rid of this bottom part right here because we're going to just change some of these things up here at the top. Okay, so if we are looking at step eight or step seven, it points us out to this line right here creating an instance variable. Okay, and it's going to want us to do create our own variable here. Right now, it just has a generic variable of x. Uh, but our song class is going to have a couple of variables, and that first one is going to be a rating variable. So you'll rate the song on a scale of 1 to 10. This int right here allows you to do that because that is an integer. If you remember from Python, integers are whole numbers. Uh, that's just one of the types of variable types we'll deal with in Java. The others are doubles, which are like floats from uh, Python. Booleans, of course, which are true and false. And then strings, which we'll get into with our second variable, which will be uh, the title of the song. So we're going to change this X to say the word rating. So we're going to have a private int rating. And that takes us through step seven. And now if we look, uh, step eight again has a link, so we can skip through that one if it's not working. It wants us to create another variable called a rating or a title. And this time, this one is going to be a string. So to create that, we just hit enter. Private. Now this one starts with a capital S. Ints and doubles start with lowercase, but booleans and strings start with a capital letter. Uh, this is a private uh, variable. It's only used in the song class. Uh, so we're going to call this private string and then the actual 
thing that's going to be a string is the title. Okay, and we can put a semicolon after that to end that there. So that takes us through steps nine and through step 10. Okay, the last thing we're going to do with that is we're going to come down here where we initialize this. Basically, we're going to set up what these variables start at. Uh, our x, we change to the word rating. So we can just change that word down here as well, that letter. So all our ratings will start at 0. And then we're going to initialize the string as well. And that is title. And we're just going to initialize that to an empty string, which is just quote, no space, quote, basically an empty string. And then, of course, we end that with a semicolon as well. And then to make sure that we have uh, gotten that set up correctly, we can hit Command, Shift, I. Everything is formatted correctly there. And we hit Compile. Everything looks good there. And we now have our song and our media lib classes both set up. All right, so that takes us through step number one, or part number one, and gets us all the way down to step 16, which wants us to make a song object. So we're going to go back to our media lib. We're going to open that editor. And we're going to make a song here in media lib. Okay, to do that, we're going to come underneath our system.out.println and we're going to create a new song. So we'll say song, song one equals new song, open close parentheses, semicolon. This is in step 16. If you want to look at your directions, you can probably copy and paste that in there to make sure you got it right. Okay, and now we're going to give some information here, or we're actually going to have this print. So let's do that first. System. Type here system. Dot out. Dot println. Song one. Semicolon. Compile. There are no errors here, so we can close this window out, and now. If we run the program, right click, void main, it gives us our welcome to your media library and it tells us where in the memory song one is going to be stored. I'm not going to do a whole lot with that right now, but that can at least show you that what you've got uh, is working. So we're going to stop right there and that is the end of parts one and two.